Hello, welcome to Biograd TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Felix Hufwe Bwanyi Felix Hufwe Bwanyi was a tribal chief, medical aide, union leader, and farmer. He served in various ministerial positions within the French government before becoming the first president of Ivory Coast and governed for 33 years until his death. He was born on the 18th of October 1908 in Yamusukro, a political and administrative capital of Ivory Coast and an autonomous district of the country. He belonged to a family of hereditary chiefs of the Baole people who were traditionally farmers and lived in the center of Côte d'Ivoire. Born into the animist Akwe tribe, he was named Dia Hufwe, his first name Dia meaning prophet or magician. The French colonial administration, in recognition of tribal leaders, enrolled Hufwe in school at the military post in Bonzi, pretty close to his village, in order to prepare him for future leadership roles. Despite the persistent objections from his relatives, especially his great aunt, Hufwe was transferred to the Ecole Primaire Supérieure, Bingaville, a town in southeastern Ivory Coast. He was in boarding school against his family's wishes. In the same year in 1915, when Hufwe got into the secondary school in Bingaville, he converted to Christianity and was Christian Felix. Hufwe was first in his class, and in 1919, this eased his admission into a call William Ponty, a government teacher's college in present-day Senegal. He earned a teaching degree there, then went to École de Médecine de Love, French West Africa School of Medicine in Senegal, where he topped his class in 1925, although he did not complete his education. This only qualified him as a medical assistant, not a medical doctor. On the 26th of October 1925, Hufwe began his career as a doctor's aide at a hospital in Abidjan where he founded an association of indigenous medical personnel. This association did not last as the colonial administration considered it as a trade union and abolished it. As a consequence, Hufwe was moved to a lesser hospital in Guiglo, a city in western Ivory Coast on the 27th of April 1927. Because he was highly skilled at the profession, he got promoted on the 17th of September 1929 to a post in Abenguru, a city in the eastern Ivory Coast. Until then, that position had been reserved for Europeans. At Abenguru, Hufwe witnessed how colonists maltreated indigenous cocoa farmers and he found it worrisome. In 1932, he decided to react to this ill-treatment by leading a movement of farmers against the influential colonial landowners, pressing that the economic policies of the colonial government should favor the farmers. On the 22nd of December, under a pen name, he published an article titled They Have Stolen Too Much From Us in the Trade Union, an Ivorian Socialist Newspaper. The following year, Hufwe received an invitation from his tribe to assume the responsibilities of village chief. However, he turned it down because he preferred to pursue his medical career. His younger brother, Augustine, took the position instead. Because Hufwe wished to live closer to his village, he got a transfer to Dimbokro, a town in south-central Ivory Coast, on the 3rd of February 1934, and then to Tomodi, another town in south-central Ivory Coast on the 28th of June 1936. As a result of his political engagements, in September 1938, his clinical director demanded that he choose between his job as a doctor and his involvement in local politics. His brother, Augustine, died some months after in 1939, and Hufwe made his choice by becoming the chef de canton an office created by the colonial administration to collect taxes. That was the end of his medical career. 
by becoming chef de canton, Hufwe assumed responsibility for the administration of Akwe, a canton which comprised 36 villages. He also took charge of his family plantation, which was at the time one of the most important in the country. He ensured his plantation included rubber, cocoa, and coffee crops. This marked his journey into becoming one of Africa's richest farmers. On the 3rd of September 1944, he established the African Agricultural Union, that is, Syndicat Agricole Africain, SAA. He gathered African farmers who were dissatisfied with their working conditions and worked to protect their interests against those of European planters. This anti-colonialist and anti-racist organization demanded better working conditions, higher wages, and the abolition of forced labor. The union earned the support of about 20,000 plantation workers. The organization's success irritated colonies to the extent that they took legal action against Hufwe, accusing him of being anti-French for never seeking French citizenship. Intelligent Hufwe befriended the inspector minister of the colonies and got him to drop the charges. He entered electoral politics in August 1945 when elections for the Abidjan City Council were held for the first time. Later in October 1945, he ventured into the national political scene and despite the French's attempt to hinder him, he emerged victorious. Hufwe Bwani rose through the ranks in his political career until he became the first president of Ivory Coast after the country's independence. Sworn in on the 3rd of November 1960, he maintained a strong anti-communist foreign policy and moved the country's capital from Abidjan to his hometown, Yamusukro, where he built the world's largest church, the Basilica of Our Lady of Peace of Yamusukro, at a cost of 300 million US dollars. In 1930, Hufwe married Kadi Rasinso in Abenguru. However, their union was controversial because he was a practicing Catholic and she was the daughter of a wealthy Senegalese Muslim. They eventually overcame their opposition and their interfaith union was accepted, being the first of its kind ever celebrated in Côte d'Ivoire. When he died on the 7th of December 1993, he was the longest serving leader in Africa's history and the third longest serving leader in the world after Fidel Castro of Cuba and Kim Il-sung of North Korea. What have we missed out of this biography of Hufwe? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.